All right. So Sora has had a couple things added or updated and it's got some nice features. So we wanted to go over some of those things that you can now uh, do with Sora. So one of the things in here now, when you log in is you're gonna see magazines. They've added over 50 different magazines in here for you to read. Some of these might be things for teachers, might be interested. Um, and some of them also offer your students. There's a time for kids down here, the time magazine for kids. There's a story time magazine. Uh, there's a variety of different magazines that kids might be interested in reading, including the Microsoft or Minecraft uh, World Magazine, a National Geographic for Kids. Um, so you can come look at the variety of magazines that they've added in, and that might be something that you and your students are interested in reading. They've also added, and this is uh, for teachers, uh, we added in a number of Google Books. So if you search Google, you're going to find a number of uh, Google Books that might help you with using the Google Apps in your classroom. Uh, specifically, there's great ones here, Google Apps for Littles, Teaching Math with Google Apps, uh, Google Jamboard if you want to get into using that, Google Tools meets middle school, so Google Tools for middle school. There's uh, three different Google Earth Books for different levels, so grades one through two, three through five, six through eight, and using Google Earth with that. Uh, 50 things you can do in the Google Classrooms, give you some ideas, Google Classroom 2020. So a lot of variety of books here when you search for Google that might help you with using those Google apps in your classroom. So those are there. The other thing that Sora did was a little change that they made into the program itself. When you click here now, the settings uh, is now all located in one spot. You can change really quickly to the dyslexic font if you need to have that on, the high contrast mode. Uh, you can change the language and all of the settings are now in one location right here where you can turn on and off. Um, do you want to search more than one library? If you've added the different library cards, you can turn that on or off. What do you have holds on? What do you have downloaded? What um, books, you, what you're using to read the books, you're going to use Sora, another app, whether you want to continue to show the shortcuts of the most recent book, um, tab bars, whether that's open, and again, all the, the dyslexic font and the high contrast mode, turning it all and off. So that new settings button is right here, all settings that you can now go to um, and find all of that right there on your account menu right here. Okay, so uh, coming into Sora, you now have magazines, you now have all the Google books that we've added in and the location for all the settings in the menu bar. Hopefully that'll help you out with things to read, things to do inside Sora with your class and changing the settings to what you need them to be.